So this is a review of question 133 from chapter 7. Here we have a compressor, no heat transfer. Given the initial pressure, initial temperature, and the final temperature. We have the isentropic efficiency here. Normally in a problem, we're given the pressure ratio and we're asked to find the resultant pressure or the resultant temperature. And we'd go through a process like this. We take our pressure ratio, we find the relative pressure, then using the air tables we find the isentropic enthalpy, use the efficiency of the compressor to find the actual enthalpy, and then interpolate from the table to get the final temperature. In the case of this problem, we're given the final temperature, so we have to work backwards to solve for the initial pressure ratio and to find what the value of P2 is. So the next part, next step to do is to come up with a schematic and we'll start labeling the values that we have from the question. So here we have at state 2 that the outlet temperature is 200 and 57 degrees Celsius. Or in Kelvin, the absolute temperature is 530. At the inlet, the temperature was 17 Celsius, or that's 290 in absolute temperature. We also have that the initial pressure was 100 kPa. So using table A17 from the book, we get that the enthalpy at the inlet is equal to 290.16 kilojoules per kilogram. We also get that the relative pressure is equal to 1.2311. At state 2, the actual enthalpy using the table is equal to 533. Now, to find PR at state 2, we need the value of H2S. So to do that, we'll look back here. We found this. Now we need to use the efficiency to find the value for H2S. So to do that, we'll start off with our definition of compressor efficiency. H2S minus H1 divided by H2A and it's H1. We already know all the values except for H2S. So we can solve for that.
and we get a value 533. Sorry. We get a value of 4. Only 5. Point zero kilojoules per kilogram. Now going back to our process, we need to use the table here to find this value. So if we pull up our table, You can see here that for an enthalpy of 495, it's somewhere between these two values here. So we need to do interpolation using this value, this value, and these two to find the PR. So we have PR2 equals 495 subtract 492 503 0.02 subtract 492 that's this value here this value here. We multiply it by the difference of the relative pressures. Plus 7.824. So then we get PR2 is equal 7.951. So if we go back to our process, we now have this, and we can use this formula here to find the initial pressure. Or sorry, the outlet pressure. So here we have PR2 is equal to 7.951. We'll bring up our schematic again. You see that PR1 1 1.2311 1 so then we have P2 is equal to PR2, PR1, multiplied by P1. we end up with the outlet pressure being 646 kilopascals.